All right, these guys are seriously nuts. The hazelnuts. <laughs> G'day guys, my name is Guy Tillon from Bonnet Harvest and we're on a journey to source the finest ingredients that we use in our everyday cooking. We're here to find the people, the places, the land that produces the vibrant flavours that we eat every day. So we've made the trip to Italy, we're here in Piemonte and we're finding the finest hazelnuts we can. So come with us and let's go find the source. Positioned in the northwest region of Italy, Piemonte is most famous for its white truffles, its creamy pastas, and its delicious red wine. It's Italy's new gastronomical capital and the birthplace of a kind of food called the New Wave Italian. Hazelnuts are so important in this area and so versatile that they actually hold the International Hazelnut Festival, which is actually where we're heading right now. All right, guys, so we're at the uh, Hazelnut Festival at Cotta Emilia, and we're gonna be eating hazelnuts, truffles, red wine, Getting my festivities, let's go play. So we got some truffles fresh from the region. We've got some risotto going on. Grazie. It's delicious. Big fella knows what he's doing. <laughs> some of the stuff they're doing with hazelnuts, the recipes are so interesting. So we've got some gnocchi in like a hazelnut flour, a white sauce, and then some gorgeous hazelnuts that are crumbed on top. Grazie mille. How good does that look? Hazelnut puree, a beautiful cooked porchetta, which is pork rolled up. Oh yeah. It smells unbelievable. How can you not go right with a hazelnut puree and fried bread? Oh yeah. Hazelnut cake, it's beautiful. Never eaten so many hazelnuts in my life. <laughs> it's a good night, it's a good festival. All right, as you can see, it's raining, it's coming down hard, but here in Piemonte, it's still out for the Commune de Contamilia. Let's go check the parade out. All right guys, so important to hazelnuts to this area. that They've even got a hazelnut fraternity that take care and sell and, and promote hazelnuts throughout the world. It is important because it's this product that represents our region. Hazelnuts flow in the blood. Yeah, 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 in the blood, in the heart. And you obviously ship them all around the world. Yes. We yeah. are very proud of our hazelnuts. As you should be. And we've been lucky enough for the fraternity to invite us into their clubhouse, I suppose. I'm pretty pumped to see what's in there. <laughs> I'm guessing hazelnuts. Welcome to the Cortemilla Hazelnuts Museum. What you see here is about 6,580 hazelnuts and we received the Guinness record and this line was across the village. And this is the Cortemilla Hazelnuts Queen. This is the hazelnut chariot and this crown is representing the queen of the hazelnut, Cortemilla Hazelnuts Queen. The fraternity is introduced us to a, a local musician and he's going to play us a local Nachola song, like a, a hazelnut song. As you can see, the importance of hazelnuts in the area of Piemonte. You've got your fraternity, you've got your special songs, amazing food. How awesome is this? The reason Piemonte is uh, Italy's new food capital is their produce is unbelievable. Those white truffles, that creamy pasta and red wine, but we're here for one ingredient in particular, these epic little hazelnuts. They're famous, they're sold all around the world. So we're about to meet Emmanuel. His family's owned a hazelnut farm locally in this region for 50 years. I'm excited to taste some of his hazelnuts and see how it's done. Ah, buongiorno. Oh. How are you? Oh, this is beautiful. See? Nice. Show me around. Let's go. Let's check it out. Yeah, the demand for hazelnuts from this area are so high. They're starting to swap hazelnut trees opposed to grapevines, which is pretty amazing. What is your favourite way to eat hazelnuts? Una buona pasta di nocciole, una buona crema di nocciola in un gelato. In gelato. Sul gelato. Mm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we just saw them harvesting before. Basically, the trees drop all the hazelnuts on the ground. I have workers come through with like 
big blowers and blow them to the centre here and then a machine comes through and just scoops them up and just throws them in the back. That's pretty awesome. It's very fantastic this thing. One, two and three. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's rounded, specific type and it's got sort of three faces and it's perfect for baking and desserts, dolce and, and sweets and for chefs it's easy to peel, it's easy to roast um, and it's all around delicious. <laughs> So hazelnut gelato, best, huh? <laughs> uh, we're back here in Emmanuel's beautiful farm in amongst his gorgeous hazelnut trees. And we're gonna do an epic trio of hazelnut dessert. So zabioni, praline, and some gorgeous gelato. It's a winning combination. So let's start making our praline. So we've got a couple of tablespoons of sugar. It's onto a warm pan. And then we're just gonna go a couple of tablespoons of water as well. We're going to make ourselves a little caramel. So we'll just give that a little swish around, let the sugar melt. And what we'll do while that's doing its thing is we'll slice up some hazelnuts. So we're just slicing these super fine. And basically what I'm doing here is just showing off my knife skills. <laughs> you can buy them sliced up if you want. So make sure you keep an eye on your caramel and your sugar, because basically what happens is when it comes to temperature, it'll just turn like that. So that's the colour you're after. It's golden, delicious. Turn the heat off, and what will happen is it'll continue to cook. It'll get darker and darker. Your nuts are going to go straight in there. Give it a mix. So you need to work quick while the caramel's still hot, because it will cool down once you take it off the pan. And then straight onto a tray with baking paper. So you just want to flatten it out, then just put it aside. So while that's cooling down, we're going to make our zabioni. It's like a light, fluffy, whipped custard. So I'm just going to crack an egg, and all we want is the egg yolks. So I just transfer the yolk from one shell to the next, and you're left with the yolk. Just pop them in your bowl. All right, so we've got two tablespoons of sugar with the egg yolks, and about three tablespoons of liqueur or hazelnut wrapper. A little bit more. <laughs> Bring them together, and then we're going to pop him onto our bain marie and add some heat to it. So the trick to this is to be patient. You don't want your water boiling too hard. You still want it at a simmer, you know, just a couple of bubbles, just enough steam just to heat it up. If you're in a hurry, you're gonna scramble your eggs. You don't want that. So you wanna really keep it moving the whole time. You don't wanna stop. And that steam from the water, as it catches underneath, will start to cook it. So if you're worried if it's getting too hot and there's too much steam, you can always just take the bowl off, let that steam pass, and it'll regulate the heat and then pop them back on again and continue to whisk it. Always whisking, yeah? Always, always moving it around, making sure that nothing's getting stuck and nothing's scrambling. So what you're trying to look for is like, sort of starts to ribbon. You can see it's starting to hold itself together. It's delicious, it's light, it's fluffy, it's hazelnutty. It's got liqueur in there. That's an epic, look at that. Hazelnut puree, it's gonna go in there. And then we're gonna fold that through. It's time to plate this up. It's into a nice, cool glass. Look at that. It's layer one, done and dusted. Next step is our praline. It's nice and cold. What we'll do is we'll just fold the paper over. Look at that. Put a praline on top, balance him on the side. And then on top of that, an awesome Nicciola con praline gelati. God, that looks good. So much hazelnut. Epic gelati, epic sabayon, super tasty praline. It's a winning combination. You want to come try some, Emmanuel? Fantastic. Come on! <laughs> Thank you for the awesome produce. I think I should start to tuck in one as well. I'm gonna eat mine, Emmanuel. You've always half nailed yours. Not bad after a long day's harvesting. Ah, see, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's so tasty. It's good, eh? I'll send you the recipe. <laughs> it's been such an amazing experience exploring these gorgeous lands, going to the parties, learning about these awesome hazelnuts in Piemonte. Thanks for watching, and make sure you check out next episode of Sourced.